My name is Megan and I'm the Big Boss Lady of Wooden Stencil Co. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble a canvas banner. So in your DIY craft kit, you should have one canvas banner, stencil and transfer tape, a popsicle stick for smoothing, a T-pin for weeding, your chosen colors of paint, paint brushes, a dowel, string for your tassels, and string to hang up your canvas bag. Weeding is when you use your tea pen or tweezers to take out the parts of the sample that you wish to paint. So here I'm going to be removing the word kind first. Just gently use your tea pen and click underneath the letter. It's time to place your transfer tape onto your stencil. So first, take your transfer tape from wherever you place it and your popsicle stack. Then line it up and when you feel like a pro and are pretty confident, take off the sticky layer of it, leaving the backing behind. Carefully place it on top. And using your finger or your popsicle stick, Smooth down all the areas. Now it's time to remove the backing of your stencil. Place it upside down so it doesn't curl and only take out the back layer of it, not the transfer tape that you just placed on. If any little pieces start to come out, that's okay. Just put it back down and smooth over with your finger. It's time to place your stencil onto your canvas banner. Pick up your stencil and try not to touch the whole surface of it. And practice laying it down until you're certain that you have the right spot. I noticed that mine was a little crooked, so before I smooth it down too much, I can remove it and now I can try again. Now you can smooth it down with your finger or with your popsicle stick. It's time to remove the transfer tape from your vinyl stencil. Once you feel confident that you smoothed it down enough, you can go ahead and start removing your transfer tape. Now that your transfer tape is removed, you can do your last smoothing of the vinyl. Using your finger or your popsicle stick, gently smooth over all the letters because you're going to paint it and you don't want the paint to bleed under those stencils. Now you're going to protect your canvas banner. To do this, place masking tape along the edges of your stencil to make sure you don't get paint on the canvas banner. Grab a brush and the paint you wish to use. You don't actually need a lot, and then when you want to paint, you want to dab it. Just move your brush up and down instead of brushing it by the side. Do at least three thin coats for the lettering. Let it dry in between coats. While you're waiting for your canvas bag to dry, you can start by working on your tassels. This is the body of the tassel, over here is the neck, and this is the piece of string that will connect your two tassels. So we can loop over the dowel like this. You're going to need this piece of cardboard for when you make your tassels, and that's when you're going to wrap it around so you can make the body of your tassel. It's time to start on your tassels. Take your yarn that was wrapped around the cardboard and cut it into 12 inches for the neck of the first tassel, 12 inches for the neck of the second tassel, and 12 inches for the connector of the two tassels. And then, using the remaining yarn you have, 
cut it in half to make two bodies of your tassels. You can start the body of the first tassel by taking the end of your yarn and wrapping it around the piece of cardboard as many times as you can go. This is how thick the body of your tassels can be. Now you can slowly slide it off, but make sure it doesn't unravel so it's into your fingers like this. And taking one of the 12 inch pieces, slide it through your tassel, but keep it only on the edge because you want to have enough room so it can tie with the other tassel. You just need to do a double knot and you can snip off the end later. And then, holding your tassel, like, very straight, take another piece of 12 inches and wrap it around the middle to make create the neck. It's time to cut the body of the tassel in half. You can sort of pull up the head so it isn't loose. And then you can just go and get any pieces that you may have missed. If you really want to, you can trim the bottoms. And repeat the process for the next tassel. Taking the connecting string from the other tassel, use it and tie it around the top. And now you grab your last piece of 12 inch yarn and wrap it around and tie it to make the neck. You can loop it around the back multiple times so it becomes more secure and then do a double knot in the front. Snip off the ends later. Right now, we're going to go and cut off the middle part so it becomes a tassel. Now you can go back all the edges and trim it. And now you're done. The two tassels are complete. Carefully remove the masking tape and vinyl stencil from the canvas banner. Almost done. You can start weeding up the inside of your letters with your tea pen. You're almost there. Now we get to assemble the final part. Slide your dowel through the loop at the top of the canvas bag. Using the jute string, Keep a hold of one end and loop the other side three times around. Tie a double knot so your root string won't come apart. Now repeat it on the other side. There are many different tassel options. You can keep them both on one side or you can cut them in half and place them on either side. I'm going to keep them both on one side. Holding it up by your root string, you can take tassel and loop it over the dowel several times until you feel like it's secure. If you like what you see or want to do more DIY craft kits just like this, look for Wooden Stencil Folk on Facebook or Instagram. Bye for now!